in central Kansas, like Nathan was saying, our, our, our average dry land corn yield is 90 to 100. So if you can create irrigated ground, you're essentially doubling your land value, you know, doubling your average yield at least. So. Are you fertigating through that too? I plan to, yeah. That's kind of the, the unique part about it is you're putting all your water 12 inches deep right at the root level, and then you can follow that with, with fertilizer. And Do you guys run irrigation on other stuff? A little. Yeah. yeah, we all of it is kind of limited. We've actually had like a, a reservoir, a big pond that we've irrigated out of for years. That was grandpa's idea because we'd have times of heavy rainfall, fill up all the ponds, and then times of just kind of flash droughts is just kind of common. So if you can have just enough water to get through those dry times, uh, it helps our area out a little. So I don't know what, 10 to 20% of our land yeah, we have has four, irrigation on. Four pivots and the drip system you finding or liking the drip irrigation yeah i mean it's my first year um and it's rained a lot so you're you know it's not as much of a difference when it's i mean this is the most rain we've had since 2019 so but i mean the beans look fantastic that i have planted on there so 